everyone this is Valerie again welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share with you my st. Luke's medical exam experience requirements needed and tips all right so today's video is gonna be short I just wanted to share with you my medical exam experience so my medical appointment uh, was August 27th of 2020. We stayed at Manila Lotus Hotel and it's only three minutes walk to St. Luke's Extension Clinic. So I would advise or suggest if you are doing the medical exam to stay at a hotel that's close so, so you could just walk and you don't have to commute. It's um, very good to come there early um, so we arrived at 5 10 a.m. There is a person at the front asking for your requirements and giving out priority numbers. So when you arrive there, um, expect that there's going to be a lot of people already. It was 5 10 a.m. in the morning and I was already number 11. So this person is going to ask you if you have all your requirements and once they checked it, they're going to give you a priority number. So we waited from... 5, 10 a.m. until 6 a.m. for uh, the St. Luke's Clinic to open and um, start the process. So um, first, they are going to call your, your priority number and then they will uh, get your photo. You have to show them your DS-260. This is a very important document. Make sure that you have it and make sure you have it with the barcode. So have your DS-260 ready to go. Then you'll proceed to the cashier area if you haven't paid beforehand. So I would definitely suggest to pay for your medical exam ahead of time because you will never know if all the people that would come to their appointments have paid. So if if let's say there are 10 people and like two two people paid ahead of time, so then there's a line of eight people. And so I would suggest that you pay ahead of time. In my case, I paid my medical exam fee at the security bank. Um, so then when you go to your appointment and they ask for if you paid for it or not, then you'll just show your receipt and then you can proceed to the next step. So the payment um, back then was 17,025 pesos for 15 and above and it's 9,583 for 14 and below. Okay. So before you get your medical checklist, they will interview they will interview you a little bit and ask some questions about your case. So um, for my case, these are the questions that they ask. So first, who who's your petitioner? What is his full name? When is his birthday? What is your name? When did you get married? So then, um, for for our case, as um, some of you know, we did an expedite request. So that's why I was able to expedite my CR1 visa case. Some people would say that medical exam would take two days. But for me, it only took one day to get everything done. Once you get your photo taken and then once they, they review all the documents for you, they are going to give you a um, medical checklist. So then from there, you can pick where you want to go first. So don't be afraid to ask, let's say, if you're not ready for one, one of the tests, say, can I come back? Can I do this first? I'm ready for this one. So don't be afraid of asking or, or letting them know. So then um, for my case, I went to the x-ray section first um, because that's, you know, that's pretty easy. The next thing I did um, was to get my blood drawn. And then so I went to my physical test. So there, um, there was a long line because everybody wants to do that first because that's the easiest part. And so I did, um, they checked my height, weight, blood pressure. And then from there, I went in the room and the doctor will do the physical exam. And then after that, if you have, I'm not sure, but from my case, 
um, they sent me somewhere else. It, it, they sent me to the cardiac exam doctor. I was so scared. I was so nervous. I'm like, is there something wrong with me that I didn't know? But uh, they sent me to that doctor. He just asked me a few questions um, and then she let me go. So after that, um, somewhere in the middle, either of the physical test or my physical exam, I was ready for the urinalysis. So I went back to that stage and then but of course I informed that the person that's in charge of that specific exam that I'm going to be back and so after that um, after I did my physical exam they asked me to come back at 12 30 um, so I got there at 5 10 so I was there until 11 a.m. they told me to come back at 12 30 when I came back from lunch they told me to go to the vaccination area. So I got my vaccines and then the person there said, okay, you are ready to go. You go downstairs and get your results. I went downstairs, I got my results and I was expecting to get a yellow packet altogether because you're supposed to bring that packet to your interview. But the person just handed me the documents for my vaccinations and so I asked, I asked the person, um, do I need something else? And, and she said, um, we're just gonna send the rest of your information or your yellow packet to the US Embassy. And so and so I was done in like, at like um, maybe at like 2, 2 p.m. Um, it was pretty quick for my case. So then after I, I received my results, I emailed the US Embassy right away that I finished my medical exam and ready for my interview. So the next day, August 28, they emailed me and said that my interview schedule is September 9th at 7.30 a.m. Okay, so tips. Pay your medical fee ahead of time. That's number one. Second, organize your documents. Make sure you have, for, for my case, I bought this, um, it's like a, a binder, um, but it's like a case, binder case or something like that. And so what I did is um, I labeled them. So let's say this is my DS-260, this is my, this is the other documents. So then it's easy for me if they ask me for something, I can just look it up. Okay, here it is. So Tip number two, organize your documents so it'll be easy for you to find them if they, if they ask you for it. Tip number three, arrive early. It's okay to ask questions. So if you have questions, it's okay. You know, um, it's better to ask questions or just do your thing and turn out to, you know, not doing it correctly. Tip number five, if you're not ready with one test, like what I said earlier, if you're not ready for one examination, ask if you can come back and do the other one. So if you if you wait for that test, it will take you a long time and that would take the whole test um, longer. That's why probably other people says that the medical exam took them two days to get the results. So then tip number six is to bring only what you need. Don't bring too much stuff like backpack, computer, or anything like that. If you can get away of just bringing your documents, just bring that so you don't have to like take care of, of everything else um, because you're going up and down of the stairs going to the next test or exam. So I would suggest to bring only what you need and then Tip number seven is to pick a close hotel. All right, so that was my St. Luke's medical exam experience. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can comment down below. And thank you so much for watching my videos. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.